the ghost of the West Central Urban Renewal Project. The creation of urban renewal projects in Albion, Michigan demonstrates the historical significance of urban renewal nationally because of the relevance to urban renewal taking place today. The development project is different from most urban renewals from the period because of the small scale and unsatisfactory ending. The West Central Urban Renewal Project sheds light on how historical projects can impact current city development. This little known history of the urban planning is relevant today because the boneyards of the West Central Urban Renewal Project can still be seen throughout Albion, Michigan. Albion, Michigan is a small rural college town in the southern central portion of Michigan. Prior to the late 1800s, the town consisted mostly of agricultural industry. However, between 1880 and 1910, the population grew from over 2,000 to around 6,000 because of the influx of European immigrants looking for work. With the boom of population, industry in Albion began to take off. With the start of World War II, the tap of European immigrants as a labor, labor force dried up and Albion needed to find a new source. So they looked to the south for cheap and reliable labor. This was during the time of the Great Migration and many were brought from the deep south to the industrial north. This movement of people brought Albion's population up to almost 20,000 in just roughly a decade. The large population change in Albion created the small rural town into a booming industry town. However, the infrastructure for the amount of people in Albion was just not created. This led to poor housing and segregation throughout the town. Labor force housing began spreading towards the northwest area of Albion with a clear line between the white and black communities at Eaton Street. Working with the federal government on urban renewal projects was not unheard of for small towns, but was rare. An urban area is a community with a population of 2,500 or larger, so Albion was certainly eligible. Albion was in need of housing repairs. One of the workers on the projects outlined the housing conditions. He said, typical homes in the project are older frame dwellings. Many are cheap grade of construction. Some are both physically and functionally deteriorating and obsolete. Documents also showed that 58% of houses lacked a bathroom, 42 had substandard toilets, 42% were also deemed poorly maintained, 21% had dangerous crowding, crowded sleeping areas, and 21% didn't follow fire safety requirements regarding entrances and exits. The mayor at the time, Hugo Rigger, 
began working on a plan to help the citizens of Albion with their major housing issues. The city of Albion hired a Jackson planning firm to evaluate the town. They found that 160 houses were substandard and 582 were deteriorating. The net project cost contract was for $1.6 million, but Albion was only required to pay around $417,000 of that. There were 349 buildings that were included in the West Central Plan, which was around 10% of Albion's total housing. Only one fourth of the houses that were of the houses were demolished. The rest were re rehabilitated. Around 127 families were displaced during this stage of clearance. The racial makeup of those who were displaced was 30% white and 89% non-white. The housing projects were slow coming and poorly recreated. It took almost seven years for the first project to be finished. Albion recognized that they were having major issues, so they decided to readjust their plans and end the West Central Urban Renewal Project. Albion today is a struggling college town that is in the process of creating an inviting downtown area and redeveloping its image. The current population is just below 8,000 people, and as of 2017, the crime rate is 1,200 per 100,000 people, which is slightly higher than the national average. In 2018, the local elementary school closed, leaving residents to travel to Marshall to attend classes. They've been making headway in creating an economically sound downtown through projects such as a communal industrial kitchen for those who want to sell food products, mural projects to create an inviting atmosphere, and allowing the Carl A. Gerstacker Business School to use the downtown as a case study to try and improve. These mock-ups were created in 2018 as part of the plan to redevelop the downtown, as well as surrounding areas, such as the area that the West Central Urban Renewal Project was in. If the residents of Albion from 1970 could imagine the state of Albion today in 2022, they would have a very different vision. The largest disappointment of the West Central Urban Renewal Project were the blocks of land left undeveloped after the destruction of many single-family homes in that area. These four to five blocks of underdeveloped land could be utilized for things like parks, housing developments, community gardens, or even a community center. The blocks of land were originally going to be included in the project and have all the infrastructure such as sewer and water utilities. However, they never were developed on. <laughs> 